Hello, today we're back out in the fog and one of the things people always get on about is the amount of light available. So today, where there is no light, I'm going to show you how I take photographs and what I'm using today is wide angle, 16 to 35 and I'll hunt out what little light there is, there's not much, it's just grey and lovely it is. Um, but yeah, no light, no problem. Catch you in a minute. So, first composition for the day is these two trees here, I'm not counting this tree that's this next to me. Um, I did line it up first with the two trees to the left. There's also a couple of trees there and I just thought it's too heavy on the left hand side. So I've just gone forward a touch and I'm just using this tree to the left and the tree to the right, some nice roots on the tree to the right and just leading down the path. There's some beautiful yellow up above in the canopy. Um, let me just show you the back of the camera and I'll talk you through that. So for this shot it is literally just the two trees left and right. Let me get the camera back on. I've tried to line up an equal gap on the left and the right so it is balanced and not every one side or the other. And you can just see the path leading down, some beautiful yellow at the top of the frame, beautiful orange in the bottom of the frame and all I'll do with this shot is a little bit of dodge and burn and just put a darker track to follow the path down just to denote the path. Looks beautiful, it does. The settings for this are ISO 100. Um, I'm going to shoot at f11. I want everything as sharp as possible and on this camera f11 is incredibly sharp. Give me a third of a second I'm just going to do a single shot focused on the tree, just going to zoom in on the tree to make sure that I've got good detail there. And two second timers on, and there's a shot. I'll put it on for you right now. Oh, tell me what you think of that shot. Um, drop me a comment below if you like it. I do love all the colours in there. It looks absolutely tremendous. There's yellows, greens, oranges, dark browns. Looks fantastic. Betsy's just gone running past like an absolute lunatic. I think she can smell pheasant again. There's a couple been squawking. Um, on the way here she saw a couple out the car window and started screaming wants to get to them so I think I might have my uh, work cut out with her today. Just look at this, look at these colours down here. Absolutely incredible. I'm going to carry on walking and go and find something else. Looks beautiful, it does. Just walked out that little wooded area with loads of fog in it and we've come down just walking up the valley. No fog. There's fog up in the trees, but this little clear bit here, no fog at all. So, I am hoping where I'm going now, we're going to walk back into the fog again. Hopefully it's holding into the trees. Uh, yeah, look at this. Beautiful colour everywhere. Amazing. Just look at these colours behind, absolutely stunning. We have Betsy here behaving. I thought she would uh, be going mental with the pheasants, but she is being good. A little May Kiz has just turned up. The colours, absolutely stunning. The, the, this GoPro doesn't really pick the colours up that well. Um, but to the eye and on camera, oh, it looks incredible, it does. So, we am carry on walking and let's see what we can get. 
Now we're walking up the valley and it does look like this fog has just lifted within literally 30 seconds. I've come all the way up the valley and the now is no fog. So I'm going to have a walk up to the top of the hill and just see if the fog is up there. It, uh, it looks lovely in here. There's a uh, colour. Absolutely. Just look at this. Just a little bit farther is the beech tree that I took a couple of videos ago with the beautiful orange floor and the beautiful root systems. I'll just turn around and show you when I get here. There you go. Just look at that business. Absolutely stunning. Looks beautiful. So I'm going to try and find Betsy again and join me up the hill. So just come across this little scene here. We have got three little cobwebs forming little hammocks. I'll just try and show you. Just look at this. Absolutely lovely. The texture in the moss and the white of the silver birch looks fantastic, it does. Um, I'll be precarious in all this heather and overgrowth. I do wish there was fog in here because if you could eliminate some of the background, this would look really nice. Um, I'm literally just going to take this because I like the green moss against the white and I like the three little cobwebs. I think they look great. I've just took two shots, literally one on a cobweb and one on the green moss. Um, so I'm going to have to focus stack this to get it all in. I've shot this at f4 just to try and throw some of the background out a bit just to make it a little bit more appealing. But the fog has pretty much gone. Literally, I took a sh the first shot that I put on, um, it was foggy, and I literally walked down to the field, gone, and it is pretty much clear now. So today's video is going to be where is the fog? So yeah, I'm going to have a little walk up and so I'm going to find a couple more scenes. Uh, but I'll drop this on for you now and let me know what you think. just found this little old bit of a tree stump, some beautiful little mushrooms just growing on it and then as you look down you've got the beautiful colour in that tree there. Um, I do like this as a little scene, let me just show you the back of the camera. So I'm going to shoot this as a little focus stack and I'm going to focus on this, um, sorry, we've got a little kizzy. It's a little kizzy. I'm going to focus on this little stump there, then on the mushrooms. I will zoom into these mushrooms just to try and show you. Let's have the focus. They look beautiful. I don't know if you'll pick it up with a GoPro, it does look amazing. And then the third shot, I'm just going to focus on the bright yellows in the tree there and that's the shot. Settings for this, ISO 100, I'm shooting f8 because I'm doing a focus stack and I'm one stop underexposed. It looks stunning. So next little scene I've just found is the beech tree here. There's a tree behind it which I'm going to try and hide behind this limb. But I'm loving the green on the tree and then the orange in the bracken behind. Um, again let me just show you the back of the camera as to what I'm doing. I've put the, the tree stump, which is already in the one behind, just into the right hand rule of thirds. We've got this one coming off on a diagonal, which I love. And I'm loving the bright green moss and the orange in the ferns to the left. It looks, looks beautiful. Settings again, dead simple, F8. 
and one stop 100 exposed I also 100 and I'm just focusing on the green moss that should give me infinity for the the orange bracken in the distance so here's the shot Although we've got no uh, light to touch today, it is just flat. The nice thing that comes with flat light is soft light. Just look at this beautiful green moss on this oak. Shine so bright. The, the green moss everywhere is just so bright. It's unreal. I'll just walk it down here. There's another piece just there. It looks amazing. Just look at that. Absolutely incredible. So even without good light, soft light is just as good. And just a little tiny bit of dodge and burn on this, it would look incredible. I think I'm gonna go back and try and take a photo of this green moss. If it doesn't turn out, I won't bother putting it on. Uh, and I probably will wait until we do get some fog. And try again then. Yeah, let's go have a quick look and then we'll carry on. So we've just found this little tree here, just hiding amongst the bracken. I'll show you the back of the camera. And we have literally just put, there's a ball there, just put that bang in the centre of the frame. I'm shooting, this, this lens is 16 to 35 f4, I'm shooting at f4, just to try and blur a bit of the background behind it. Um, the focus is right on the ball there. Settings again ISO 100 on one stop under exposed at f4 just to try and darken the background down a bit um, it is lighting up even though we've got just flat light it is still lighting up it looks beautiful what a beautiful little shot that is it's bright green lovely texture in it um, I'll put on for you in a moment with the rest of the images from today um, there are links below in the description, please check them out. All the gears on here that I use, the 16 to 35 I'm using today, the Canon 5D Mark IV. I am going to do a video soon on how I set up my camera, especially the 5D Mark IV. There are a few um, settings that are actually hidden, um, like especially how to get ISO 50. Um, this setting is hidden and I will do a video soon probably for next week maybe the week after on how I set up the 5D Mark IV and how to access this ISO 50 um, please like subscribe thanks for watching again um, I've got to find bets this is just legged it so I'll put the photos on now for you and until next time take it easy